Wow, you look like you're ready to go 15 rounds, slugger. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Spencer? Just stretching. I stretch before every show. You're never here before the show. I stretch at home. Well, I'm just glad you're here. All right, guys, settle in. We are live in 10. Hey, try to stretch out your lips. Huh? And five. You'll say. Four, three, and cue intro. From around the corner and across the globe, welcome to the Safety Zone. Now, your hosts, Spencer, Vivian, and Jerem. Hello, everyone. The Safety Zone is the only show dedicated to keeping our missionaries safe, healthy, and secure through video replay and analysis. We have a full plate today, so I say let's dispense with the pleasantries and dive right in. Hear, hear! What was he thinking? Okay, people, we've worked together a long time. We've been through a lot, the three of us, and we've seen a lot. Over the years, we've all had to watch some difficult footage. Mm. I apologize for the pain I'm about to inflict on you. Uh-oh. Wait, really? Oh, no. What is that elder thinking? I'm so sorry you had to see this. I know how unsettling it is. Rubber duckies? Who is this missionary representing? I'd be scared to see the rest of his closet. Me too. Today we're going to talk about one of the most basic aspects of missionary work, and yet one which gives many of our elders and sisters trouble. Uh, fashion sense? Close. I'm talking about courtesy and behavior. Okay, so this elder and his choice in neckwear. What does that have to do with courtesy? 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Okay, I have that. Oh, thank you. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Thanks, Vivian. See, everything we say, everything we do, everything we are sends a message. Our missionaries sometimes forget that. Now look at this elder. Tell me, how will anyone he talks to today be able to take his message seriously? <laughs> You're right. How we behave, whether in word, in actions, even in what we choose to wear, will have an impact on those we teach. Jerem, I can't remember a time when I've seen you this energized. You're serious about this, aren't you? Yes, I am. You have no idea. I'm talking about courtesy. Plain, simple courtesy. Look, when you shake hands, give a firm grip, but don't crush. And speak up with confidence and purpose. That's right. Yeah. Where are you going, man? Okay, two, three, stay with them. Jib, okay, keep the wide. Look people in the eye when you speak with them. Hello. Hi. And don't forget to smile. John, how was your vacation? Everybody Great. good? Yeah, everybody good, thanks. See, listen in conversation and show you're listening. People he can tell is on a roll. Yeah, but we need him to wrap it up and move on. Anna Kay, how are you? Good, thanks. I get it. You're saying learn people's names and then use them. Exactly. It's about courtesy. Plain, simple courtesy. Wow, he is passionate about this. That's my guy. Oh, and stand up when you shake somebody's hand. There you go. And make eye contact when you speak with someone. I already said that, but thank you. Well, it's important. The point is, be polite and deferential. Hank. I want you to know you're doing a fantastic job on this show. <laughs> you too. Now get back to the desk. Okay. Jim, you're driving home some excellent points. What you're saying is our missionaries need to think about how others perceive them. Exactly what I'm getting at. Self-awareness. We all know the golden rule. Treat others as you would be treated. But in addition, I say take a step back and see yourself as others see you. The Jerem rule. Oh, I love it. Here, take a look. So what do you see here? Two sister missionaries talking to a woman, but I wish they would take off their sunglasses. Exactly. Why? Well, you know how when you're talking to someone with sunglasses and you never know where to look? Because mm -hmm. all you can see is your reflection? Yeah, that drives me crazy. Okay, it's more than that. It's disrespectful. It makes the other person feel uncomfortable. And why would a missionary want to do that? Because to your point, they're not seeing themselves as others see them. The Jerem rule. Oh, stop saying that. And what about this? Oh, don't do it, Elder. There's no better way for a young missionary to say, you are not important, but my phone is. But it's just a text. It will only take a minute to answer, Spencer. Yeah, and in that minute, you've told those people that they take second place when it comes to your attention. 
because the missionary is not seeing himself as the person does. The germ rule. Yes. And one more. And he commanded them that there should be no contention one with another, but that they should look forward with an eye of faith, having one faith and one baptism, having their hearts knit Is he together, chewing gum? And in love oh, no. Towards another. And this, he commanded them... The reaction tells the story, does it not? ...became the children of God. So, I know that when we're unified together... <laughs> he has no idea. He didn't stop for one second to see himself as others see him. Don't. No, 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 no. The Jerem rule. <laughs> it all comes down to influence, people. Our missionaries want to influence those they teach, but when they fail to show courtesy in their words or actions, they diminish that influence. You know, there's another aspect to courtesy. Lots of our missionaries serve in lands foreign to them. Different cultures have their own rules of behavior. You're talking about a little something we call... Cultural awareness. For instance, in Japan, you should always cover your mouth when you're using a toothpick. And in Portugal, it's impolite to stretch in public. In Korea and other parts of Asia, you never place chopsticks upright in a bowl of rice. In many parts of Latin America, it's rude to point with your fingers. Really? And how do you point? With your lips. Your lips? Yeah. Like? Mm, no, you should have stretched first. So there are countless practices and customs in all polite societies. Of course, learning them all would be impossible. But missionaries don't need to memorize every rule of conduct in every country. It's one more benefit of sending our missionaries out two by two. Companions help each other, and that includes teaching appropriate local customs when it comes to behavior. Exactly. Jerem, this is perhaps the finest presentation I've seen you give. Thanks. Courtesy leads to influence, and courtesy begins with self-awareness, seeing yourself as others see you. Don't say, no, no, no. The Jerem rule. <laughs> Isn't it time for a commercial break? When we come back, a recap of seeing yourself as others see you. The Jerem rule. The Jerem rule. Yeah, that's kind of catchy. I don't know, it's kind of bland. <laughs> I like that. You guys want to help with the recap? Of course. I don't know. Maybe. If I do, will I be able to see myself as others see me? The I know what it is. And yes, we will help you. And we're live in five, four, three. Welcome back to the Safety Zone. Seeing ourselves as others see us. Hey, everyone. We've got a few minutes left in the show, so let's recap. Recap, rewind. Here's the deal. Things may be different where you're serving, and if so, that's great. You need to observe, understand, and adapt. Embrace those differences. Celebrate them. Spencer? Absolutely. Let's talk about respect. Missionaries are guests in other countries. You need to be respectful of culture and tradition. Make all of your interactions an example of respect. And here's something. Don't discuss politics or criticize the government, even in emails or letters home. If you do come in contact with aggressive authority figures, like police or government officials, always be polite and comply with their requests. But underlying all these specific rules of conduct is a very simple foundation. Courtesy. And courtesy comes down to self-awareness. Seeing yourself as others see you and then adjusting your behavior accordingly. So obey missionary standards in dress and grooming. Here you go, Elder. Let your appearance always reflect the solemn duty you have as the Lord's representative. Awareness and courtesy should be your second nature. Always be alert to how others perceive you. Now, in case you're thinking this is all rainbows and lollipops, let me assure you there's a real tangible benefit to staying courteous at all times. It's time for Let's Get Real. Let's get real. Missionaries love to perform service for others. And sometimes the best service is spontaneous. You see a need and you take care of it. That's what happened with these missionaries. Their behavior, living the gospel through their actions, resulted in a life-changing experience for others. Hey everybody, I'm here in Chicago. Today I get to go see my very last companion from the mission, Armando McCrary. 
and then I get to go surprise the Lopez family. One thing I don't miss about Chicago is the Chicago traffic. I'm super excited to see Sister Amit. She was my trainer, and it's been almost a year since we've seen each other. Hi! Martha and Sergio were the very first people that I taught on my entire mission. Well, are you ready to go to your restaurant? Yes, let's go. Awesome. We had been meeting with them for about six weeks, so we'd been meeting with them and teaching them. It was a blessing for us to have known our hermanitas. They had a baptismal date, but she didn't feel like it was super, super solid. And they had been keeping commitments, but they really didn't want anything to do with baptism. It was a decision very important for me. I wasn't really convinced or very decided because it was a very important step. We decided that we needed to do kind of a drop lesson in which we explained that we loved meeting with them, we loved teaching them, and they were doing great, but that our purpose was to help people come to Christ, and part of that was through baptism. And so if that wasn't something they were ready for or that they didn't want, then we were probably gonna have to stop meeting with them. We showed up at their house and we were standing outside of their little front gate. And we were about to go in and Sergio comes running across the street and he comes running up to us and he's frenzied. He said he had just gone to his restaurant, which was around the corner, and that it looked like someone had broken in. So we all walked over there and he showed us what had happened. When I came to the house, we saw that the door was broken. Tables had been flipped. Everything was kind of moved around and disheveled. There was a big hole in the wall. People had tried to chisel through it to get to a jewelry store that was next door. And the jewelry store had an alarm system, and so when they broke through that wall, the alarm went off and they got scared and ran away. Drywall all over the ground. Lots of his equipment had been stolen. Expensive knives, expensive kitchenware. The whole restaurant was really just trashed. I was crying because it gave me a lot of sadness. We knew that we had to do something. We knew that we had to help him. We came back the next day with our district, and we went and we did everything we could to get the bulk of the mess cleaned up that day. We tried to get all the furniture moved back into place, and then we really started just helping fix up the restaurant, and that was something that we did for the next few weeks. Awesome, so we're gonna show you the mirror that we made. Okay, here it is. So, you can tell, we did all this tiling, we broke these. I was over by the hole in the wall, and we were working on that, and he just turned to us, Sergio did, and he said, hermanas, I want to get baptized. I don't know what I'm feeling right now, but I want to get baptized. Everything changed. I think there was a change in his heart. There was a change in his desire, and he saw something that he wanted to be a part of. No dude, no dude en hacerlo. Dije yo quiero quiero bautizarme. Para mi esposa y para mí fue un día una fecha un día muy importante en nuestras vidas porque eso vino a cambiar nuestras vidas. Y algo bien importante que me gustó mucho de las hermanas que fue que lo que ellas me enseñaron el evangelio lo practican. I think that's one of the greatest compliments that you could give a missionary is that they aren't just putting on a show. People notice that. They notice when they're being authentic and sincere. My heart is just overwhelmed every time I think about them. They have made so much progress. Falta pocos días para que cumplamos el año, estamos preparándonos. Estamos ansiosos de entrar, de poder entrar al templo y hacer nuestras investiduras y sellarnos. It's really special to be able to go to the temple with the Lopez family and to be able to see how excited they are about it and how hard they've been working and hearing the steps they've gone through to get to this point is really, really powerful. Service is less of an action and more of an attitude. Service in the way that Christ served is to be ready at every moment to serve others, to always be looking for those in need um, and to, to jump right in there. Looking for the moment 
and taking advantage of it right then on the spot and showing what we really are all about makes all the difference in the world. This wasn't just a story about service, it was more than that. These missionaries understood that how they behaved, how they acted, could build trust and influence with others. And I think it's important to note they showed genuine love and concern for that family. I think courtesy, my man, has a lot to do with loving and respecting others. Right you are. So everything you've learned today is designed to accomplish one thing, to give you the tools and understanding you need to gain the trust and confidence of the people you will teach. Your influence will guide many to the gospel. Remember the Apostle Paul taught, Be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Make sure that everything about you, your words, your actions, your behavior, is considerate and respectful at all times. Great message, Jerem. A nice rule. And thank you for tuning in. For Jerem and Spencer and the entire crew of the Safety Zone, I'm Vivian saying, stay Curtis out there. Thanks for watching The Safety Zone. Until next time, stay courteous, stay safe, and live the Jerem Rules.